What would you do if you had a thousand dollars to spend? What would you do if you were guaranteed a thousand dollars a day? That's a question that today's Saint Catherine Drexel had to answer. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I first heard of Saint Catherine Drexel before she was canonized by Pope John Paul II. I was working as a Jesuit seminarian at Holy Rosary Mission on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in western South Dakota, and we had a building that was named after her. That gives you an idea of how Catherine Drexel answered the question about what to do with so much money. She was born into a wealthy Philadelphia family in the mid-1800s, and when her parents died, she inherited millions. She began using it to support special missions and projects for African Americans and Native Americans, and that's why a building at Holy Rosary Mission was named Drexel Hall. But even that wasn't enough for her. On a pilgrimage to Rome, she met Pope Leo XIII and asked him to send more missionaries to serve the Native people. He responded by challenging her to give not only her money, but her very self to this work. In time she did, founding an order called the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. And when she entered the convent, one newspaper headline read, Miss Drexel enters a Catholic convent, gives up seven million. Now, you may wish you had seven million, but the question you'd face is the same one St. Catherine Drexel faced. It's a good question to ask yourself during Lent, when one of our traditional practices is giving alms. How are you using your money and possessions? Only for yourself or for others as well?